you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Yaya and I'm so happy to have you here because today is a pretty exciting video it's gonna be my first embroidery video um, I'm gonna be embroidering on some pants and to be completely honest with you guys um, the real reason I'm doing this video is because this is a project that I've been meaning to finish months ago like so long ago but for some reason I just got busy or forgot about it and it's been in my room unfinished and i want it out of my room i want to finish it so that i can go to its rightful owner and what better way to finish projects than with you guys it's specifically going to be a koi fish pond i'll give you a better close-up but um the goal for today is to finish one leg it's going to be concentrated here and then it's gonna kind of go down it's gonna be less and less it's gonna dilute is that the word so it's gonna be concentrated fish up here and then the fish will dilute and by the end of this video I need all of these pants to be done the same thing on the other leg a lot of fish dilute and then on the back we're gonna have two concentrated koi font koi koi fish ponds and then dilute down the legs and if you like videos like this feel free to like and subscribe so that i know and i can keep making content for you and thank you so much for 4,000 subscribers i can't believe that we're here i'm so happy i'm so honored after i finish these pants i can really dive into finishing my um crochet pattern for my next video uh, for my future video i know you're probably excited for that thank you so much for tuning in and let's go <sighs> okay, so this is my process of embroidery. Just tracing out my drawings, splitting my threads in half, as you do, and I'm just embroidering a fish. And I did accidentally take some ASMR videos, so I hope you guys enjoy that, but I was watching something in the background. Um, but if you can guess who I'm listening to, I'll be super impressed. She's like my favorite YouTuber right now, and I just keep watching all of her videos. So I hope you guys enjoy this ASMR. I think my goal for this week and for the weeks that are coming up I want to try and get ready every morning so that, you know, it feels like I'm getting ready for the day instead of just being in my PJs. See a live uh, version of it instead of it being sped up, but even without it being sped up, it's so fast, it's so fun. Um, a girl from this room told me to use a bowl, and so you can see me struggling trying to hold it and put it on the ground, but... The So I haven't embroidered in such a long time just because I kind of got over it a little because it just takes so long to embroider anything. Like for for example, like one of these fishes usually takes me like 25 minutes and um, on the front part of the leg I put like 9 fishes. So if you calculate that, that's quite a bit of time. Um, luckily, like, I'm always kind of watching something interesting, so it's not too bad, but, you know, that's still a lot of time to put into just one fish, and it just doesn't yield much, uh, like, you don't see all the work that you're putting into, I feel like, and, um, here I am just tracing out some fish and lily pads because I got super lazy on the first day of embroidery, and I just wanted to prepare myself for the second day which you can tell now it's the second day because of the outfit change and I'm just kind of exhausted and frustrated because I'm still on the same leg even though I wanted to finish the first leg on the first day but uh, there's not much you can do except bunker down and get her done and that is what I did I just sat for hours and embroidered while watching anything and everything on YouTube. And this was actually my one of my favorite fishes. I was really proud of her, even though she didn't focus, but just had to show you. And yeah, this is just more footage of me working. I was really exhausted, but luckily just making this YouTube video was the perseverance I needed to get through this project. 
and also just the fact that it was for my friend she's been waiting for it for so long and here I am just stretching because you need to make sure you're stretching your hands so you don't mess them up I don't know if you can tell but in this video spirits are very high because I finally finished the first leg and I realized hey this might actually be possible and then I finished one of the butt pockets and it made me feel even better because it was pretty easy then I had to go to the dentist and I embroidered in the waiting room because uh, that day I decided anywhere I went I was gonna embroider and then I went to my sister's house and yep I was embroidering while we were watching a movie because the grind never stops and I really wanted to finish these pants and um, I decided to work on the two butt pockets and then I worked on the back just because the back wasn't as much embroidery as the front because I decided I only wanted to really put it on the hips um, and the front just I put so many fish in the front but I knew that in the back like it didn't really matter as long as it had some on the pockets uh, everyone would be satisfied and um i thought it turned out really cute so i don't know i just couldn't fathom putting any more fish i put like i put nine around nine on each leg which i think that's a good amount because the fish just took so much longer and i also added lily pads so <laughs> i put a lot of work into this here i am just showing you what fish i'm working on and oh. then my show was really shocking. My I, <laughs> I was reacting kind I of partially can't. to it. And I left my sister's house with two of the pockets done and one of the hips done. And then here's just a little close up. Um, there's a red and orange one that I show you at the beginning of the clip that I was really proud of. And then it was day three. And I just did as I've been doing the whole entire time, just embroidering, embroidering, embroidering away and just getting stuff done. I was so close to being done with the hips. I was so happy about that. So another really big reason that I was rushing this project was because this was the week before school started and I really didn't want to have to work on this while school was in session. Um, and yes, I, well, I finished it the day, the first day of school, which I'm pretty proud of. I think that's great timing, but that's another reason why I was rushing it and also so that I can get it into this video because I really want to stick to my um, every to posting once a week um, because I'm having so much fun doing it. It gets projects finished and it just keeps me in high spirits. It's something to look forward to and I've been really working on time management just because um, I just don't know what it's going to be like doing YouTube at the same time as schooling at the same time as trying to craft and make patterns. So I hope I can stick to it and um, I'm just really excited to have something to do to stay busy um, and I know you guys are going to keep me accountable and just having to make a video every single week is enough to you know keep me in check and I need to be doing all my homework too because I want good grades but I also want to post once a week but I also want to make new patterns so hopefully I, I can keep up with that I'm a little nervous but that's all in due time. All that matters is that these pants are slowly but surely getting done. I'm getting through them. And um, I was really excited because I finally finished the back. I, it's so hard for me to imagine being here, okay? Because I've had these pants for so long and they were empty. But I finally finished the back and I was so proud of it. I was so happy. And I decided that I was going to take the rest of the day off because I finished kind of early. But yeah, 
So day four is here and I'm just rushing to the finish line. I literally went so fast because I only had one leg left. It was the front leg and um, that was a hefty one. There's a lot of fish. I put a lot of fish on the front legs. So um, I knew that it was going to be kind of a big job, but I could see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I had something to look forward to. Uh, so that just made the job a lot easier. And you can just see me really giddy throughout this throughout this day because I just was so close to being done. And um, I'm on the last fish. I went back home to finish the last fish. It was a red one and it's actually probably one of my favorite fish because it's like hidden in the pocket. So I thought it was really just a little cute detail that I added. And now I'm just finishing her. You guys, I'm done. Like completely done. I'm shocked. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a close up right now, but I just cannot believe I actually got through it. I mean, it just took me so long to finish and it just feels so good to be actually done. I actually can't believe it. It's still kind of registering that I don't have to crochet, that I don't have to, not crochet, I don't have to embroider anything else that it's ready to go to my friend, it's rightful owner. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I hope you liked watching me finish this. And to be honest, I have to give it up to you guys because I doubt that if I, like, if I wasn't making this video, I feel that I wouldn't have that same motivation and um, I wouldn't have done it as fast as I could have, you know, I would have taken my time, but because I'm like, no, I need to finish this for the video, I finished it a lot faster, so I do have to say thank you to you guys for that. And I hope you liked how it turned out. I hope you liked the process video. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, as always, if you did like it, I would love it if you liked and subscribed. It really helps me out and it means a lot. And uh, if you have any tips or anything for my videos, if there's anything you want to see, if there's anything I can improve on, uh, I would love to hear it. And even if you just want to say hi, I would love to say hi back to you. I read all of your guys' comments. So thank you so much for tuning in. I am going to wrap this up in old magazines um and surprise my friend with it because i think she's gonna be really excited i don't think she knows that i'm done with it because i'm, I'm sure she forgot about them because i've had them for so long so um i'm gonna wrap it up in some magazines like i do and surprise her with it the next time i see her thank you so much for watching i hope you have a lovely day and take care bye you guys Let's just jump right into it. Let's just let's just get in. <laughs> Oops. Oh my gosh, I messed up.